All right, now let's carry on with that dirty solo, see what other fun and games Mr Vi has in store for us. And I believe the last note we played was... So after that, we're kind of climbing down the, uh, the scale all on the E string. So first of all, you'd re-pick that bend, let it down, and now pick that note again, the 22nd fret, pull off to the 20th, pick the 20th, pull off to the 19th. Now pick the 19th, and we'd pull off if we could, but we're out of fingers, so we slide down. And now pick the 17th fret again. So uh, that whole run would be. And now briefly visit the B string, 20th fret, and back to the 17th on the E again. And now slide this note up to the 19th fret. So, so far we have a... And from there, index finger now living at the 19th fret on the top E. We go to the 20th on the B. Pick it twice, and the second time slide down to the 15th fret. Pick that again, give it a nice hearty wobble. Um, Now for a real head-turning lick. Um, any, any lick with big intervals in it will tend to confuse your fellow guitarist, so uh, this one's well worth learning. Um, I think the easiest way to play this is to slide up to the 15th fret on the D using your third finger, and following it up with a 14th on the G and 13th on the top E, so you don't need the B string at all for this. If your picking hand's struggling with that, you might want to use, say, your middle finger from your picking hand to play that top note. So, in terms of pure notes, once we've got that shape, we now play the 15th fret, slide up to the 17th, this is on the top E, and now 15th fret on the B string, and once more the 17th on the E. And And that's the first note of the next bar, 17th fret in the E, bending up a tone. OK, this looks some fun. Uh, if we slow that right down... Um... OK, what we have is this bend. Uh, once you let it down, uh, you pick the 15th fret on that string, the top E, hammer on, pull off, slide down to the 12th fret. And what you need to bear in mind for the next bit is uh, your first finger is either living around the 12th fret or around the 5th. So you're going... You might remember that shape from the... Uh, that lick earlier. Um, 15 and 12 on the E, 13 and 12 on the B. Um, so you go all the way down there and then slide all the way down to the 5th fret on the B string. And add that middle finger note on the 6th fret and pull off again. So. And now for some almost Satriani-esque legato stuff. The idea here is 7th uh, fret, pull off to the 5th on the G string. And now slide down 1 fret to the 4th. And now hammer... 5th fret, 7th fret, pull off to the 5th and the 4th again. And now a similar shape on the D string, but stretched a little bit more. So all the 4th fret notes are now 3rd fret notes. So it would go 7, 3, 5, 7, 5, 3. So... Uh, and to round it off, 7 pulling straight off onto the 3 on the A string. And for the next bar it goes down all the way to the 2nd fret. So that whole lick one more time, nice and slow. Next lick here is some very wacky tapping here, so I should warn you in advance. Uh, your tapping finger needs to worry about the 17th fret on the A string, the 15th fret on the D string, 
and the 16th fret on the G and B. All right, so what this hand's doing in the interim is from that note, hammer on to the third fret on the A string and slide up to the sixth fret. Now quickly tap on there and pull off. And I slide up another tone. So now we move on to the D string. And the mechanism there is a 7, 9, tap at the 15th, pull off onto 9 again. So. And the next bit is even stranger. Uh, we're on the G string now. So you'd hammer the 7 and 10, tap the 16th, pull off to the 10 again, but instead of pulling off from there onto the 7th fret, it's now the 8th fret. Hammer on again and do the last two notes, just copy them on the B string. Have that tap there, 16th fret, and finally pull off to the 10th fret note there. So that whole bar again, very slow. Huh? So it's a nice dis disjointed quality when you speed it up. From there, uh, we're now moving up to the 12th position. Um, so for that, you just uh, scooping with the tremolo, um, start with the bar depressed. And you're fretting the 12th fret on the B string, but it won't sound like that note until you've let the bar back. And now you go 12, 14, 15, all on the same string, and then bend that last note up a tone. And that's a nice bit of fun. Uh, what we're doing here, picking the, the low E string, and then pushing the bar down until it sounds like B, five frets lower. And you have to uh, exercise a little control there. Notes can sound very fluttery when you're pushing the bar down and trying to maintain a level pitch. Uh, but practice makes perfect. And the next bit, um, it's basically this melody on the B string, 12, 14, 15, then all the way up to 22nd fret, 20th, 19th and 17th, kind of in this rhythm, 3 and 4 and 1. But instead of playing it normally, um, Mr Vi is doing this. So. So in other words, he's trilling between the note that I've just shown you and the open B string. Uh, I find it really helps here if you rest your thumb on the G string and any string fatter than that, and your middle finger of your picking hand on the top E. Then you can be as messy as you like with this hand. Uh, and you're not going to have all that nonsense going on in the background. Now let's move on to the next lick. Um, you start with this, uh, 14th fret on the E, bending up a semitone and down again. Pull off to the 12th fret, pick the 14th again. So, and now for some more tapping fun. So this is slightly unusual. Um, so what we're doing here is a 12th fret on the E string again, hammer on, 14, and pull off to the 12. Now tap here, 17th fret on the B, pull off to the 12th fret on the B string. So Now you start the G string moving with a tap on the 16th fret. Uh, move this hand down so that your first finger's at the 11th fret ready. Pull off and then hammer on 12 and 14. And now it gets a little simpler, you tap the 19th on the D, pull off to the 12, and then hammer up to the 14. Then repeat that three note pattern on the A string. 
and you nearly repeat it on the low E as well. But for the third note, you slide down. So that whole bar should sound like. And round that off with a bend on the A string from the 12th up to the 14th. So. And for the next bit, unfortunately, I have a, a grown-up vibrato system on this guitar rather than a Floyd Rose, so I can't make it sound quite as far-fetched as the one you hear on the record. But the idea is to get some harmonics around the ninth fret on the middle strings, start with a bar depressed, and then just slowly let the bar back up to rest and then carry on pulling it sharp. The other thing you might want to experiment with is uh, how you strike the harmonics. You can either pick them, or if your tremolo pushes down far enough, you might just try sort of dabbing the strings around the ninth fret while the bar's depressed. Which tends to sound a little cleaner at the start of the note. But as it's more of a sound effect than uh, anything melodic, let's not lose any sleep over that bit.